Hi, my name is Tulio de Oliveira. I'm a professor in genomics and bioinformatics at the University of KwaZulu-Natal and also a senior researcher at the Wellcome Trust Africa Center for Health and Population Studies in South Africa. As you probably know, South Africa has one of the biggest HIV and TB epidemics in the world. And we also have an increasing drug resistance uh, epidemic in the country. So what we decided to do is really to compile a book that would give information about HIV and TB cases from across South Africa and that would really illustrate all the challenges that clinicians and nurses facing on managing complex forms of resistance strains. The book was produced from clinical cases that we see in our own clinical program. We had a large number of cases to select. We really scanned over 800 cases to select from and from those, we end up selecting 20 cases that would really highlight the biggest challenges faced by medical officers on managing resistance strains at primary healthcare level. The book uses a case-based learning approach. So each case is presented with many different subsections. We first describe about the patient, that we present all the clinical information that's summarized in a clinical chart together with the resistance levels. That follows a clinical interpretation and a question and answer session. So the case ends with a summary that's presenting the key learning points. This means that now clinicians and nurses have access to a free clinical guide on how to manage resistance strains in low resource settings. We think that that's important because for the first time they have access to clinical cases that are very similar to the ones that they will encounter in the daily basis. We have been very surprised by the success of the book. So far, over 8,000 copies have been distributed to medical offices in Africa. We still have many requests and at the moment we are printing an extra 2,000 copies and already interacting with the scientific and medical community to come with a second edition next year.